All right, so we are going into the semifinals here. We got Moman versus Hash, Zerg versus Terran. Starting out on Delta Quadrant, uh, the winner of this will, or sorry, the loser of this will play the next, pick the next map. This is still a best of three setup, so we've got two more best of threes set up to go. The winner of this will play. Um, I forgot his name now. Uh, Money Man, <laughs> or what is it? Sorry, let's pull that up again really quick. Oh, the winner of this is playing... I don't have the window open anymore for some reason. Weird. Um, but yes, the winner of this is playing into the finals. This is for seeding right now. All players will get in, so... I got a bad seed, it will be four. Correct. So yeah, both players just setting up for the seeding. All players are advancing here. The finals will be taking place on Sunday, uh, December 26th. Uh, so please tune back in for that. It'll be a round of eight. They'll be the top four players from this day, which we already know who they are. Obviously, Moman, Hash, Idra from the top side, as well as Monkeys. Um, versus the next players will be taking place from the European server, taking place tomorrow. So Hash getting the southern spawn here is the pink Terran, and then the uh, northern, northeastern spawn, Moman is the orange Zerg. So we, like I said, we start out on Delta Quadrant. The winner will pick the map after that. Uh, Repo, who he plays on Sunday, someone was mentioning, but um, it looks like Mo Man is going to get set up here. Thanks for doing this amazing tournament. Thanks, Gosu Gamers. Yeah, this is the Gosu Gamers Holiday Special. Um, thanks to all the people who put this on. This is Iced from the Gosu Gamers casting crew. I've been happy to be with you guys all day. Um, it's been pretty fun, actually. Some, seen some pretty good games. Um, I got to see... I'm pleased to say I have a replay now of uh, of, of I draw all inning all about you uh, so that was pretty cool um, so some good highlights from today and I hope the European matches uh, tomorrow are going to be equally as fun as I'm sure they are um, it looks like obviously Moman getting a quick scout out um, going to probably want to drop that hatch he did so Moman's going to drop the hatchery on the low ground going to get that set up he hasn't really scouted out any further actually Hash doing the uh, the wall in at the ramp very good, very solid versus Zerg there um, he is going to get his gas, get his orbital command started up and a second supply depot at the back um, hasn't closed off the wall just yet not really necessary Moman just checking around for anything anything funky as you can see his clicks there are pretty quick uh, he's got some quick hands Moman getting his gas set up uh, we'll be able to get Zergling speed out really quickly, help him control the map. Uh, this is again the first game of the best of three of this, and then we're going into the final match right after this. So, um, basically, Moman gonna get the first scout cross map here. He's gonna reach the top of the ramp here by Hash. Gonna have the drone shot at from the high ground. Will survive to scout out another day. Um, Hash does see the exact same thing on the low ground. Does see Moman's fast expand. Um, gonna set up a bunker actually to try to deny that expand. Marines pushing out from a Hash. A third one not really rallied. Well, it's rallied out there. The third one just being brought now. Um, drone streaming out right now from Moman. Moman does see the the bunker going down want to snipe that scv in there so we'll pick up the scv 35 30 20 um it is not there you go so you will get that out oh the bunker doesn't finish very close to getting that bunker down um oops, should open up my production there zerglings are coming out right now for for moment so he'll be able to deal with this a little better um not sure if he's going to try to finish off that bunker it's another marine coming up no more scv so he's going to try to micro out those drones as quickly as he can um should get another scv that's why i always bring i always bring two scvs to do this um, but not going to be able to get it. Try to snipe that queen. That would be great. Getting it a surround. Does get the queen um, at the cost of about an SCV and four marines as well as a handful of zerglings. That bunker is going to have to be cancelled as it's just going to get attacked now there by Moman. Moman doing a good job of uh, making sure that that fast expand doesn't get too, too far behind. Uh, you can see 1-1-1 one, one, one for Hash right now. He's getting his command center set up. He will be able to move that probably onto the northern kind of protected low ground there once he clears that out. Uh, he has a factory at his wall as well as a starport being set up. So Hash is going to have a pretty good uh, advanced tech here as he is getting challenged at the front of his ramp. 
Um, just going to be able to deny those Zerglings. Walled off pretty solid, so no entry points into there. Um, Moment still just on one gas, not really actually mining gas anymore. Checking the income. He stopped mining gas after getting that 100 Zergling speed. Uh, he will have enough for a layer, but just wanting to get his drones, getting as many minerals as possible. Very, very conscious play for Moment. Very solid, as it's uh, pretty important to make sure that he does keep that alive. So. Uh, Moment setting up on the high ground, some creep tumors going down. Uh, what else here? Looks like Banshee tech starting for Hash right now. No cloak in production, so it's just going to be a straight Banshee. More barracks being set up for Hash. He's going to have three racks out. Um, he did move the factory onto a tech lab there, so he will be able to build a supply depot to finish off that wall. Um, siege tanks coming out right now. Orbital command being finished for Hash. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, looks like Moman just doing the same kind of thing, just macroing um, queens and drones in production right now. No actual army units. Um, sorry, Moman, I was stuttering a bit there. Moman does get to the top of the ramp, does see the tech lab on the siege, uh, sorry, on the factory, sees that it is researching, understanding, probably a siege tank coming out. Um, it's either that or a Thor timing push, but... Um, given that he hasn't seen anything else, uh, Siege Tank's a pretty good bet. Banshee crossing midfield does get scouted by the Zergling, so this will give Moman the chance to get a couple more queens up, um, as well as get started on any sort of anti-air that he wants to do. Um, looks like Lair Tech is about half complete. Gas has been restarted by Moman, so he's going to rally all of his queens together. Uh, Want to be able to repel that Banshee together, and they are going to do just that. Banshee has no cloak or anything like that, so the four queens are going to stick together here. Just kind of pace back and forth, deny that Banshee from doing any significant damage as the Orbital Command 4 hash is being moved to the low ground. Nice siege tank position on the high ground. Can hit the ramp as well as anything in the worker line here. There's a really solid siege tank position there from hash on the high ground. Uh, Zergling being denied just as the uh, the orbital command lands for Hash. He's going to get his expansion started. Checking the worker count, though, it looks like Moman has pulled quite a bit ahead. You can see 20 workers ahead, so pretty solid, uh, <laughs> pretty solid lead. Moman's cut in there on that fast expand. Um, obviously, Hash wasn't able to punish it the way he wanted to, so he's going to be a little bit behind. Hash is actually supply blocked right now, so he's going to be doing some supply deals before he gets these SCVs in the queue out. As you can see, they are stuck. Um, Baneling, Nest, and Spire going down for Moman. So same kind of uh, composition we saw Hydra use about All About You. Against All About You, Moman will have a Mutalisk, Baneling, Zergling uh, kind of composition here. No other tech just, just yet. Uh, Evo Chamber just being started right now for Moman as well. So no giveaways to anything specifically yet, but uh, definitely going to be that kind of Baneling, Mutalisk composition. Very solid versus this Marine... Marine siege tank ball, even with even with the bio, um, sorry, even with like a Thor, Thor bio, uh, the marine as we saw with Idra use the marine um, utilis were very very solid. Uh, so Hash is going to push it in midfield here actually, getting that Banshee to pick up any sort of creep tumors or anything that does try to advance too too far. Um, siege mode is down. There's no mutilus out. No nothing out just yet. Actually, so this is a really solid timing here from uh, from Hatch. He's good just out of range of the the hatchery here, but he's going to shoot at some of the queens there. Pretty good damage from the marines. Banelings coming out right now. Centripetal research is not done, but they are all over creeps. So those banelings will have that speed advantage. Um, Siege Tank kind of being staggered, only half the force from Hash is at the front there, so I think he is waiting for that Baneling bus. No Mutalisk, uh, sorry, two Mutalisk going to be in production. Here come the Banelings, um, being sniped off really good, very minimal losses from Hash, very solid tank placement. You can see that staggered Siege line definitely helped out there. Mutalisk, or sorry, Overlord's just being shelled. My computer again slowing everything down. Um, asking for Shakuras on the next map, so I'll get that set up as Hash takes the first game from Moman. Very, very solid there, and I'll get the next uh, next map set up in just a second.